acceptable in the cranial plesi. Mean is a group of autosomal dominant disorders characterized by presence of tumors in multiple endocrine organs. Mean syndromes can be classified into either mean type 1 or mean type 2, and type 2 is further subclassified into mean type 2a and mean type 2b. Now we will discuss each type separately. Regarding the mean one or what is called Verma syndrome, it is composed of pituitary adenoma, parathyroid adenoma, and pancreatic tumors. For short, للاختصار حفظوها 3 P's. Pituitary adenoma is the hormone secreting the tumor. Secrete either prolactin called prolactinoma or growth hormone. Parathyroid adenoma, hormone secreting tumor, secrete excess amount of parathyroid hormone, thus cause hypercalcemia. Pancreatic alice cell tumor, either gastrinoma, which secretes excess amount of gastrin, or insulinoma, which secretes excess amount of insulin, and cause hypoglycemia. The mean one occurs due to mutation in mean one gene on chromosome 11. The mean one gene is a, a tumor suppressor gene. When a mutation occurs in a tumor suppressor gene, it will not act normally. And there will be excessive growth of cells to cause tumors. Regarding the case, a 40-year-old woman with a history of hyperparathyroidism present with a two-month history of burning epigastric pain. The pain can be relieved by antiacid or food. The patient also reports a recent history of tarry stools. She denies taking aspirin or non-steroid anti-inflammatory drugs. Gastroscopy reveals a bleeding mucosal defect in the antrum. She also reports some headaches and blurred vision. Which type of multiple endocrine neoplasia does this woman have if she had parathyroid adenoma, gastrinoma, pituitary tumor? خلينا نفصل الكيس عندنا woman 40 years old history of hyperparathyroidism يعني excess parathyroid hormone secretion إضافة إلى two month history of burning epigastric pain يعني عندها ألم بالepigastric region والcharacter مالته burning يعني حرقة البين ال ال leading factor for this pain are the antiacid or food يعني types of drug اللي إحنا نسميهم ضادات الحموضة والفود relief this epigastric pain. The patient also report recent history of tarry stools. Tarry stools معناته dark black stools. يقصد إنه أكو blood. She denies taking aspirin يعني أخذوا ال drug history سألوها عن ال ال drugs اللي سووا G I T bleeding مثل aspirin non steroid inflammatory drug وطلعت ما ما أخذته. Gastroscopy reveals a bleeding mucosal defect. The gastroscopy is an endoscope and indahele the stomach and show the mucosa normal or be the ulcer or the film and show show defects. Yani ulcer one sayer the antrum. The antrum is the stomach. We have the cardiac region. We have the greater curvature. We have the lesser curvature. وعدنا هنا الانترام وراها البايلورس فشافوا ديفكت ميوكوسال ديفكت في الانترام ريجين شي اوسو ريبورت سام هيديك يعني اتا صداع وبلوت فيجن رؤيه ضبابي يريد التايب اوف مالتيبل اندوكرانيو بليزي ان ذيس وومن اف شي هاد باراثيرود اندينوما شلون عرف عرف من الهاي باراثيرودز جاسترونوما لانه the causes of the ulcer at this patient who excessive secretion of gastrin. طبعا عرفنا من خلال investigation. And pituitary tumor, pituitary tumor من الهدي كل blood fusion. The type هو the main one لأنه يجمع parathyroid adenoma, gastrinoma اللي هي pancreatic alice cell tumor and pituitary tumor. Regarding mean 2A or what's called Sibyl syndrome, mean 2A composed of medullary thyroid carcinoma, fear chromocytoma, which is a tumor derived from chromaffin cells in the adrenal medulla. 
and parathyroid hyperplasia or parathyroid adenoma. This syndrome is caused by a mutation of RAT gene, which is a, a proto-inco gene. A mutation in this gene will increase a growth of cells, thus cause tumors in different endocrine glands. Regarding the case, we have a 20-year-old patient present with acute leg pain. The patient had a glioma resected three years ago. An X-ray film of the leg reveals a fracture of the left TB. Laboratory studies show elevated serum levels of calcium and parathyroid hormone. A CT scan of the patient's neck demonstrates a solitary parathyroid mass. Two years later, the patient present with hypertension, and a CT scan of the abdomen displays a 4 cm mass in the right adrenal. Reading fossil case, a 20-year-old patient present with acute leg pain. Shunu sebeb mal acute leg pain is sebeb fracture, kasser in the left TB. Shunu sebeb le fracture, sebeb le fracture inu il bone mineral density low. Be sebeb il bara thyroid hormone, li nu inna bara thyroid hormone aali. Mithil ma arafne in previous lectures, il function of bara thyroid hormone increase the bone resorption يعني راح يسوون release of calcium and phosphate from the bone وبالتالي راح يسوون ضعف بالعظام هذا الضعف يخلي the bone susceptible for a fracture إضافة إلى ذلك بالCT scan CT scan معناته computed tomography type of imaging modality شافوا parathyroid mass فمن نريد نجمع نقول إنه parathyroid mass or الأدينوما cause excess secretion of parathyroid hormone parathyroid hormone سوينا البون resorption وبالتالي make البون more susceptible to fracture لذلك البيشنت إجت with acute leg pain two years later البيشنت صار عنده hypertension سووا CT للأبدومين لقوا mass in adrenal gland و mostly الفيوكروموسيتوما لأنه الفيوكروموسيتوما release كاتيكولامينز act on alpha 1 adrenergic receptor cause vasoconstriction thus cause hypertension هسه البيشنت ايش عندها؟ عندها باراثيرود ادينوما and فيوكروموسيتوما من خلال هاي المانيفستيشن البيشنت عندها multiple endocrine neoplasia تايب 2A وممكن بالانفستيجيشن نلقي عندها مدولاري ثايرود كارسينوما This type of multiple endocrine neoplasia also has glioma يعني brain tumors Regarding mean 2P it composed of مدولاري ثايرود كارسينوما and فيوكروموسيتوma similar to multiple endocrine neoplasia type 2A but the difference that multiple endocrineoplasia type 2B has mucosal neuromas which are benign growth of nervous tissue occur in mouth and lips present as small multiple papules in the tongue or small multiple papules in the lips these called mucosal neuromas and also composed of morphinoid habitus what do you mean by morphinoid habitus means a clinical feature or signs similar to Marfan syndrome. Marfan syndrome characterized by thin body belt, long arms, long legs, and also chest abnormalities, such as pectus carinatum or pectus excavatum. Regarding this case, a 22-year-old man comes to the office for evaluation of a neck mass. He first noticed a small nodule in his lower neck six months ago, and it has progressively increased in size since that time. The patient has had no change in weight and otherwise feel well. Physical examination shows a 2CM nodule in the right lobe of the thyroid. There are multiple soft papules on the lips and tongue. The arm span exceeds his height, and the patient has long fingers. Serum calcitonin levels are elevated which of the following is the most likely to develop in this patient يعني هسه عندنا 22 year old man 
complain of neck mass. The neck mass located in the lower neck will be six months. Progressively increase in size. يعني تزداد بالحجم تدريجيا. The patient ما عد other complain. يعني ما لاحظ زيادة بالوزن. أثناء the physical examination لاحظوا إن الماس هي two cm nodule located in the right loop of thyroid. فش شكوا عد البيشن شكوا إنه عد ثيرود نودول من خلال الهستري ومن خلال الإكزامينيشن why thyroid nodule not functioning لأنه ما صار عد any change in the weights ما صار عد signs symptom ما الثيروتوكسيكوسيز or hypothyroid release إضافة إلى ذلك البيشن عد multiple Soft papules, soft papules in the lips and tongue. اللي نشنو mucosal neuromas. The arm span exceeds his height. يعني يقول إنه ال ال arm small تطويلة وعنده long finger. يعني ذراعة وأضافة كلش طويلة. Serum calcitonin levels are elevated. The calcitonin هو هرمون secreted from parafollicular cells present in thyroid gland. معناته هذا البيشنت عدة مدلة لثيروت كارسينوما لأنه السيرام كالسيتونين عالي Which of the following is most likely to, do, to develop in this patient? يعني يسأل البيشنت عدة مدلة لثيروت كارسينوما وعدة ميوكوصل النوروما أو مارفينويد هابيتس شنو الشي الثاني ممكن يصير عد هذا البيشنت؟ ممكن يصير عدة بنكرياتيك آلة Tumors, ممكن بتوصل تومر، ممكن gastric lymphoma cytoma. إحنا من خلال الكيس توصلنا إنه البيشنت عنده multiple endocrine neoplasia type two B. ليش type two B؟ لأن عنده mucosal neuromas, morphinoid habitus, and medullary thyroid carcinoma. الباقي شنو؟ باقي lymphoma cytoma. إذا هو الخيار الصحيح.